Hey everyone, I am back with another video. I wanted to share with you a lesson from Math with Confidence first grade. I did third grade not long ago. Um, I will share the link for that here somewhere. Um, and I'm gonna share with you my, a lesson um, in first grade Math with Confidence with my daughter. So she is turning seven very shortly and we're very close to the end of Math with Confidence first grade. Um, so yeah. If you want to see that, keep watching. We'll go through a lesson. It does not take us very long at all. And um, you can just see how it practically looks because it's all well and good, like seeing samples of things, but it's really nice to actually see them in action anyway. I, I find that. That is how I really am able to like judge a curriculum to see what it'll actually look like when I have multiple children and I'm trying to homeschool everybody in a day. So I hope you find it helpful. Okay, so we've got our teacher's manual here, and I'm just going to find our spot. I keep it marked with a bookmark um, so that it's simple to find where we are. So we're up to lesson 26.2, and it's got the overview there of what we're going to be covering today. Warm up. Um, probably not going to do that because she's pretty good with that. Some of this is like American money show your child a penny, nickel and dime, but like we go over our own money as well here in New Zealand. And then there's some calendar practice there. So we're pretty good with all those things. So we're not necessarily gonna do the warm up today, but this tells us what we do need, double 10 frames and counters. Mm -hmm. Annie, could you grab the um, colorful counters out of there please? Mm -hmm. And I'll grab the 10 frame. Okay, so we have our things. We've got, this is the, double 10 frame master, it's from the Black Line Masters, and I just laminated the things that I knew would use a lot, which is this. This was actually from the second grade one. Um, so a lot of them like overlap, which is really helpful. And then we've got our counters there. These are from the old um, Good and Beautiful Math. I just hung on to the old manipulatives and we've used them a lot. So let's hop into the lesson. All right, in the last lesson, you subtracted two, three, four, or five from the numbers greater than 10. Today, you'll practice visualizing these facts so you can see the answers in your head, okay? So <clears throat> let's put 13 counters on the 10 frame. So can you open that up eight. and put 13 counters on there? Yeah, let's try and make them all the same color. Which color are you gonna pick? Actually, I don't know if we have 13 of the same color, so just pick okay. any color. I'm just gonna Just put all sorts. Okay, I'm buddy. I'm just doing green on the top row. I mean, that yellow. I'm just gonna put them any color anywhere. We just wanna fill it up so there's 13 on here. Yep, put those ones there. Wait a minute, make sure they're all filled up. Yep, Jack, you can go play for a bit. All right, one more over there to make 13. Charlie, I think Jack wants to play with you if you want to go play with him. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do 13 minus 5. Okay, now it says to write this on a piece of paper, but we're just going to remember doing 13 minus 5. Imagine, I don't want you to touch anything, imagine taking away 5 of the counters. Eight. How many would be left? 8. Well done. Okay, so I we're not actually removing it, we're just imagining. I just imagine like okay, now you can move the five and check your answer to see if you're correct. Yep. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to do another one. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Put those back. And this time we're going to do... Oh, put that okay. one back. 11 minus 4. So your answer is what? 7. 7, correct. Okay, now you're going to do 12 minus 5. Very good. Okay. Now you're going to do 11 minus 3. It's 8. 8. Yep. Now you're going to do 13 minus 4. So 13 minus 4 was what? 9. 9. Okay. Now you're going to do 11 minus 2. 9. Very good. Now you're going to do 12 minus 4. 8. Very good. Okay, now you can do 11 minus 5. 
6. Good. Can you do 12 minus 3? 9. Good. All right, last one is going to be 14 minus 5. 9. The answer is nine. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to play subtraction, roll, and cover. Okay, I need to go find the directions for that. It does say that here, there are lots of games in here. Hang on, let me see this focus. Subtraction, roll, and cover. See lesson 26.1, which is what we actually did yesterday for directions. Keep the 10 frame encounters available as you play. Encourage your child to visualize removing the counters before physically taking them away. Okay. So this is all about mental math today. And what we're going to do is go back to yesterday's lesson in your workbook. All right. So that's the lesson taught. Then she will do the workbook here, which we're focusing on mental math today. So there's just a note for the parent in there. But that is the lesson taught. And Annie knows her, she's pretty good with her mental math now. So it does take us not very long to get through these lessons. She's really sort of mastered a lot of those concepts. So what we're gonna do now is go to her workbook because in here is where all the game boards are. This is what she will be doing today, which will, she'll just be um, doing the practice problems. And then on this page is review. So she'll do that. But this is yesterday's math. And this is the game we played yesterday. And we're going to play that again. Annie, do you want to grab a dice? And do you want to grab the other counters, the yellow ones? I'll try. Well, it should. Hold on. I'll just grab them right here. So we keep our I'll try to stuff the here. The dice is right here. All right. Ready? So, you want to roll first? Go for it. Six. So, six. So, it's got to be one of these minus six equals one of these. Mm. So, what minus what equals six? Twelve minus six equals what? You can imagine using that. Store it out. You've got twelve minus six. Six. Well done. So then you put that there and you can cover both of those. I'm going to roll five. So I'm going to do, hmm, I might do 14 minus five. No, 14. Yeah, 14 minus five equals nine. I'll do that one. All right, your turn. What did you get? Four. So one of these minus four has to equal one of these. What would 14 minus 4 be? 10, I think. Is there a 10 over here? No. No, so you can't use it. So 12 minus 4 equals what? They equal 8. 8, well done. So you can put it on a 12 and an 8. Go for it. 12 and 8. Good job. What'd you get? A wild. Yay! You did it. You beat me. I just need a wild or a five. You did. Okay, so I'm just showing you the workbook here because I don't sit down with Annie and do this. She's capable of going and doing this herself. Um, so this is just reviewing the concepts that she learned today. So she's going to do these subtraction problems. And then she's also going to go ahead and do this review page. I will help her with this just because there's reading involved. Um, but this is just using a bar graph to answer questions. So she's going to do that. But that 
is what the lesson is. This probably takes her like 10, 15 minutes to go do this on her own. And I usually work with my son while she's doing that. So that concludes our lesson in Math with Confidence. Do you like your math? Do you like the games? And he's doing really well with math this year. So we're very happy with it. But I hope it was helpful. And um, ask me any questions down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.